Hello, Heritage Baptist Church family, your pastor here, Chris Wharton. I wanted to send this video out to you for three reasons. First, I wanted to sincerely thank you for how much you have cared for us, provided for us, assisted us in this move from Kansas down to Arkansas. Uh, even before we were uh, in our house, you were making sure we were cared for. Even after we moved in our house, you've continued to just shower us with the love of Christ. And we sincerely thank you uh, for that. The second reason is, is that I was told that some people were trying to get a hold of me and did not know how to do so. And that is my fault, and I am going to take care of that right now. My email address is chris at hbcgravit.org. I am sending an email out to the entire church with that information, also with my phone number. Included in that will be my wife's email and phone number as well. Now, if you check your email and you don't see an email from me, that is because we do not have an updated email address for you. And we want to take care of that as soon as possible so that we can communicate uh, different news and information about the ministry of the church. So this Sunday, following worship service, Tammy Hendren will be in the lobby and she will be ready to get your updated information, your email address, your phone number. Um, if you've moved, you can share with us that new address because we might mail things from time to time. So please take a moment after Sunday worship to send that. Now, if you are not gonna be in town, you're gonna be gone this Sunday, feel free to send that information to chris at hbcgrabit.org and we'll make sure that whether you have it written down on Sunday or you email it to me, that we update our records so we can remain in uh, contact with you properly. So the third reason I am uh, making this video is what I had shared on Sunday about a reading Bible reading plan for HBC Grab It. So uh, I have included in that email a link that will send you to uh, an app for your phone. It's a U version, but it will also connect you directly to the same Bible reading plan for everyone in the church to, that decides to sign up. It's the ESV study Bible reading plan, but you can select whatever translation you want to read through. This will enable us to be reading the same thing in the Word of God together. So when we gather together, uh, those things that we've read and where God has spoken to us through his word throughout the week, that we're coming together and encouraging one another, blessing one another um, with what we've heard from God. And if you aren't sure that you want to do it, I would encourage you just to check it out, explore. Uh, there is an option to leave the Bible reading plan. And so at least give it a try, check it out and see if it will not be a blessing to you. So I wanted to share a verse, a couple of verses of scripture with you that might be an encouragement to you today. It comes from 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, and it's verse 13. And we heard this a few sermons ago, but I'm going to read it to you and just want to make a, a brief comment. It says, And we also thank God constantly for this, that when you received the word of God, which you heard from us, you accepted it, not as the word of men, but what it really is, the word of God. So here we have twice in one passage, the scripture being referred to not as a word of man, but it truly is a word from God. Maybe you uh, had a friend that you were anticipating an email from, maybe a letter in the mail, a card, or um, even maybe them stopping by your house and you just were longing to see them, longing to hear from them. And once you did, how excited you were to be able to, to interact with them. Well, it's one thing to interact person to person, but we get to interact, to commune with, to fellowship with our Creator, our Lord, our King, and our Savior. This is a treasure beyond all compare. And through his word, we get to hear not a word of man, but a word of God. Not only do we get to commune with God through his word, but listen to what the rest of the verse says. So the word of God, which is at work in you believers. 
So not only do we commune with God, but also we get changed by the word of God as we fellowship with him. Being changed from one degree of glory to another, being conformed more into the image of Christ. And if you're a believer, that's your longing. And God has given us a resource uh, where we can fellowship with him, but also be made more like him, conformed more to his image. The other passage I'll just read for you, and it's Psalm 18, verse 30 through 32, and it says, This God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord proves true. He is a shield for all those who take refuge in him. For who is God but the Lord? And who is a rock except our God, the God who equipped me with strength and made my way blameless. There is no God like our God. And I want to encourage you that you will dedicate this new year to spending fellowship with God in his word every day through the entire Bible. So consider prayerfully joining us. Look forward to seeing you this Lord's Day. And I also hope to do a video regularly just to encourage, especially in this time when we're not together as often as we'd like to be. God bless the rest of your week.